with it off. It makes your particles look on a little bit more like they're on the inside. But then, of course, you know, chokes off your glow a little bit, which kind of might not be a bad thing either. You'll have to just go back and turn up your glow a little bit and see if that'll help uh, bring that back up. Yeah, but that doesn't look bad at all. Okay, so go back to here. It's just to see how it looks. Looks pretty cool. Let's. Uh, okay, just be careful on your displacement. Don't do it to where it tears up the edges of your uh, screen. You just want to displace it a little bit. Let me go ahead and play this back or preview it for you, so you can see. Okay, I'm um, previewing part of it for you so you can see. That's really good look, actually. I don't mind that look at all. It's got some smoke down here. You know, the flame looks pretty good there. And it's rippling his skin just like I want. So that actually doesn't look too bad at all. Okay, so let's make sure we set our particles. Now that we got our particles basically the way we want them, let's go back to the particle layer and set... We have to get to the where we can see the keyframes for the birth rate. And let's get to where we want them to turn on. Here is Iams flame up, and then they go back down. Let's see. Flame up, down. They come in here. Flame up, down. Okay, right there. That's probably where we want it. So we're going to go ahead and um, we have our birth rate already set. So we want to create a keyframe there first. Then we go back one frame and then turn that to zero for the birth rate. This way the particles start at that certain point. They stop, there's no particles, then when it gets to that point we want it to, they come out shooting. That's as simple as that. Now we're just going to go ahead and duplicate this layer. Now that we got our layer all perfect, duplicate it. And now we got to go to the transform section and move the anchor point to the position that we need it in for the other eye. Like that. Let's move it up just a tad. And also possibly move this one over just a little bit. If you see that it looks a little off, you know, just go and just move it around. I'm gonna like that. You can move it however you want. And that looks pretty good. Just leave that the way it is. And of course, animate your camera if you want your eye or things to rotate. You know, this is kind of a cool look when you aim it right at the camera. This actually looks, I think, better than the particle uh, trap code one. It's sort of similar to the effect that he did when he evaporated the water on that one bizarro Smallville scene. I mean, it's close. I mean, just make the particles come out farther if you want. On the extra setting, I noticed that seems to work good. Uh, it's a quick way of doing it. So you make them come out bigger like that. Instead of like this, you go on the negative side, and it just it spreads them out to where it just looks more like that uh, that look you get. So I have 0.439 for that one. Let's uh, go to the other one. 0.439 and do the same thing on that one. Particle, or physics I mean. 0.439. Doesn't, might not even want it perfect. Uh, the same exact as the other one. Just to give them a little variance. Then it just gives it that kind of cool that cool, uh, you know, that's almost like the same same look you get. And of course, uh, turn down the opacity on them to uh, so you can see through them a little bit more. You could try that, max opacity, just so you can kind of see the eye. Or turn it up, you know, whatever gives a cool look. Uh, even on the layer itself, if you don't really want to mess with any of your settings on the particle, turn the layer opacity down just to where you see the eye just a teeny bit. So I got 75 on that one. Do the same thing on the other one. Just like that, you know, just to where it's, you see that glow. I mean, you just see the eyes a little bit. It's kind of how it looked when you, they showed the close-up of them. All right, and then, of course, you go back to your displacement, or your main comp, 
and you'll definitely have to play with displacement on there because your particles are aimed right at the camera. So you're going to want to fix your just make sure your displacement's not giving you a sharp edge at the bottom there. So just tweak it until you get it to where you know you have some displacement, but it's not messing up your image too much. Just enough, just enough to ripple the image, just so we you know ha it's it's like there's smoke. Okay, so here's how it kind of looks when you add your uh, the vapor to it. Let me try to zoom in on this just so we can see. There we go. You can see it's kind of rippling the whole image like there's vapor around it. Kind of not happy with the yellow on there because, you know, we set the colors up for the thinner stream. But it gives you the idea of what you can get. Just tweak your colors since we're going with a straight on view. Maybe add a little bit more to fire colors. Get rid of some of the yellow and change the orangey red color a little bit, you know. But it shows you this is pretty similar to the effect that they showed him when he was head on uh, towards the end when he blew up the uh, that lake. You know, it's pretty close if you fix the colors up right. Um, but it just, I don't know, this this plugin seems to work pretty good to where you can really tweak stuff uh, to make it look right. You know, it kind of might save you a lot of trouble. It just seems to operate better in that way, but, you know, you're kind of limited on your shapes. when. You can't like add your own shapes. You can't add rings to your heat vision if you wanted to. But you know this ain't so bad. Just you know do a little bit of tweaking and you can get some pretty good. Here's a nice thin one. You know this, these are all good heat visions. So just uh, I mean hopefully sorry I talked so long, but you know at least I play with a lot of the settings so you can see what I play with. So maybe that'll help you play with your settings and know what I adjust to get just that right look and uh, just play with all those things and maybe you'll come up with something cool.